Hello everyone, this is Al. Welcome back to the channel and I hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, I will talk about the pros and cons of starting an assistant living business. Now that's a business for senior housing and we take care of the elderly and people with mental and physical disabilities. Now I'm a third generation caregiver and I'm a licensed North Carolina assistant living administrator. And I help run my family owned and operated family care home and assistant living business here in North Carolina. So in this video, we're gonna talk about some of the pros and cons of starting an assistant living business. Let's share the screen and let's go. So again, to the left is my family owned and operated assisted living building and family care home. And we're gonna talk about some of the pros and cons. So some of the pros, you get support from government and charitable organizations on the county level and the state and federal level. So it's definitely lots of organizations that tell her to assisted living. Uh, the business is recession proof. Why? Because people are living longer. Opportunity to specialize on a niche. You can tell her your business to Medicaid recipients, veterans, private stay, um, you have Alzheimer's, dementia units. So you can actually specialize in a specific niche or you can have a combination of all of those. Uh, favorable market trends and earnings. In a separate video, we'll talk about earnings because they vary. Um, market trends are always trending upwards because people are living longer. Now, let's talk about some of the cons. Requires hard work. It's a very labor intense business. Requires lots of work and lots of hours and dedication. Um, high startup costs and running costs. Your overhead, if you have a new building, if you have a mortgage on that building, the upkeeps on that building um, is definitely costly. And it's definitely something you need to consider because this is a lot of hidden costs, things break down, and et cetera, et cetera. So you have high startup costs and running costs. That's ongoing. Um, difficulty in hiring and retaining staff, that is an ongoing issue with anyone who's running a business, but definitely in the um, healthcare arena or the assistant living arena, uh, maintaining and retaining staff is an ongoing um, issue or something that you definitely need to stay on top of. And COVID has not made that any better. So difficulty in hiring and retaining staff is an ongoing problem in the industry. Dealing with families and relatives, you need to be a great communicator and you need to be able to talk to family and relatives ongoing because you are definitely taking care of their loved ones. So you definitely have to be able to deal and communicate with family and relatives. Hurdles involved in securing licenses and certifications. Um, it is a license and certification heavy business. You have to renew licenses and certifications annually and it's ongoing and you just need to be aware that you have to maintain these licenses and certifications to continue to operate your facility. Multiple levels of regulation and compliance. It is heavily regulated industry because you are taking care of human beings. So of course it will be regulated. So it's regulated on the county state and federal level. So remember that regulations are very intense and high and you have to be responsible and maintain all of these different regulations, certificates and comply with the rules and regulations. Um, the COVID pandemic, I call it the new normal. Unfortunately, it is a part of our life now and it is definitely another hurdle in running an assistant living business. So the COVID pandemic is definitely, definitely the new normal. It's another issue that you will have to deal with when you're 
running and operating assisted living facility. Last, you are married to the facility and responsible for every soul in your building. This is very true. You have to be on top of this business all the time. Your phone can ring at any given time. Issues can come up at any second. Within 24 hours, anything can happen. So you definitely just need to be aware of what's going on at all times and have great staffing in place. So if something does come up that you can be on top of those things because something is going to happen. It's just a matter of when. Okay. So again, these are the pros and the cons of starting an assistant living business. In a separate video, I'm going to do the earnings and give you a breakdown of the earning potential in running an assistant living business. But again, this has been the pros and cons. This has been Al. I hope this information helps someone. And until the next video, you guys take care and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.